Welcome to a really, really amazing, monumental day, as far as I'm concerned here at Yellow Buckets. Um, because for four years now, I've been wanting to, um, <clears throat> sorry, for years now, I've been wanting to stream retro games. Um, and, I, and I have been streaming off of, you know, hardware for a while now, but that's only been like HDMI stuff that can connect you know, straight up to my capture card. Um, right now, we're going to be finally doing our first official stream, streaming retro games on original hardware. And, like, I'm super stoked, comrades. Um, so today, we're just going to be playing, like, a variety of stuff. <clears throat> As you can see down below, we're going to be starting off with... Let's see if we can go to full scam here. Rampage, Total Destruction, and um, just trying to get everything situated so I can see. Yes, um, I don't have the manual unfortunately, but uh, we're gonna be playing this one today, and it's cool because this game I've played it a little bit, and it has uh, not only Rampage Total Destruction, it's the original, you know, new Rampage game, but also has I believe the original Rampage, the arcade game, and then um, Rampage World Tour, the uh, the also an arcade game, which was also ported to N64, I believe. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, original Rampage and Rampage World Tour games included. You guys can even read that or see that. But anywho. The case, or the the thing itself looks like it was pulled out of the bottom of the ocean, so it's hard to read in the first place. <clears throat> so that's that. Let's get back to that. I'm going to pull um, chat up on my phone real quick, so I can make sure I can... Oh, crap. I knew that was going to happen. <clears throat> we good? We good. <clears throat> so let's get this going. Um, we're going to play a little bit of Rampage. Uh, we'll check out each game. And then after that, I have uh, this thing. <laughs> we'll check this out in a second. It's, uh, it's a Namco Connect and Play. It's a bunch of games built in, so we'll check that out. Let me uh, pop this game in to my PlayStation 2 console, and I'll be right back. <clears throat> yeah. And there it is, comrades. Um... I'm playing with a legitimate PlayStation 2 uh, controller and console. Shout out to Kamori, because um, I'm technically using her um, PlayStation 2 console, because both of mine don't work reliably enough to stream. So, I'm going to be probably purchasing my own console by the time um, she borrows, uh, or takes it back, rather, from me borrowing it. Um, so, big shout out to her. <clears throat> oh, let me fix that. <clears throat> I had my uh, PlayStation 1 memory card in the first player slot. Oh, and it remembers me. So, um, we'll, I'll keep that just as mine. We'll make... See if we can fit yellow buckets. I probably doubt it. Yellow buck, maybe. Oh. Oh. Okay. So, off the bat, this game's doing all right. Mm-hmm. 
<clears throat> I wonder if I... I know, I just cut out the game vibe. I'm just testing something real quick, comrades. I'd have to make that like super loud for it to matter. All right. I was just kind of messing with the audio levels right there real quick. But, um... <clears throat> So yeah, we're gonna check out. We'll start with. We'll start with the original. Bonus content. So we got Rampage, Rampage World Tour, and I guess NBA Ballers Phenomenon, Nominominin. Um, sweet. <clears throat> I'm gonna put the word out real quick. To Facebook and all the peeps on there so anybody watching this after the fact feel free to skip ahead a minute or two you have my permission <clears throat> you have my express express permission um, so okay I'm not really gonna, well you know what We'll still, we'll still send it out. Um. gonna say streaming some retro arcade and ps2 games over on twitch finally got the capture set up for old school stuff <clears throat> twitch.tv slash yellow buckets Cause that's what it says right there, and that's where you're at right here, right now, and that's what we're doing. <clears throat> so um, I'm gonna post that. Cause why not? And let's do this. So um, <clears throat> excuse me. This is. Rampage by Midway. I don't say the year. I can't remember the exact year uh, that this arcade game came out. I'd say probably like in the 80s, like 85, maybe 86. Um, maybe a little earlier than that. But um, this has always been one of my favorite. Well, maybe not my favorites, but I've always played it a lot growing up and even to this day. Uh, whenever I go to the Gallop and Ghost Arcade in Chicago, <clears throat> I make a point to play. Um, uh, punch. I guess. Here we go, comrades. We're starting on Peoria, so it's interesting. That's what always tripped me out, cause like living in the Midwest, like this game kind of starts in the Midwest, so it always kind of tripped me out, like thinking, <laughs> like what's just happening? <clears throat> so basically, the goal is to destroy all the buildings as fast as you can without taking, you know. A lethal amount of damage as indicated by your health bar up top eating people and various objects produces different results um, eating people and stuff will give you health but like eating something like a toilet or like a freaking a bomb or something will hurt you so you want to be careful about that
I'm pretty sure we get unlimited continues here though, so I'll basically I'll just play till I get bored with it. We're gonna be trying out a bunch of stuff here today, so I'm not gonna be like super getting into everything. Um that's just what it's gonna be though. I really like this game though, and the movie was not bad. I'll say the movie was not bad. I mean I have to kind of rewatch it, honestly. I just remember for it being like a rock movie. Ooh. Like it actually, you know, pretty decent, but that's just my opinion. <clears throat> Ooh, we're in Chicago. Go get some pizza. game is really quiet. There's not much to hear really other than like grunting noises and explosions so it's like whatever. Oh god. I think I ate something. I was breathing fire. So I obviously have credits, because when you lose all your health, you go back to, you revert to human form. And, um, naked, apparently. Which, I mean, makes sense, because the gorilla isn't wearing clothes. And even if the gorilla was wearing clothes, when he shrank, I, you know, one would be foolish to assume the clothes would also shrink as part of the transformative process, so... I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. But, um... I always kind of wondered that about Hulk. Like... How, like... When the Hulk transformed, at least on the original TV show, which, sure, was cheesy as hell, and the special effects were like, whatever. But, like... How come the shirt ripped, but the pants didn't? You ever think about that? <clears throat> All right. Oop! I must have grabbed a toaster or something. <laughs> Toasty. Oh my god! What? That dude. That might be a glitch. Where's young blood at when we need him? All right, we'll go like another look for like another life or two. Right, I actually, actually might be it. Nope, I'm just dropping in on the blimp. Fair enough. <laughs> Before Fortnite, comrades, like. Where do you think they got that whole idea of dropping in like that? Like, dude, this game right here. If you literally go on Fortnite, your Epic Games website, and under the Fortnite section, it, it's, it says, hit best-selling game by Epic Games, inspired by Rampage. It says that. See if that guy comes back again. <laughs> oh, 
Alrighty. Moving on along. Detroit. I think you can destroy the bridge. Which I almost just like punch down to do that. Oh, let me see if I can show you guys this. There's also a way to get more points. If you and I, I don't know health, but I think it's just points. But if you grab this chick, maybe. Or not. Well, the girl in the window, if you grab onto her, she um she gives you points. Like as long as you hold on to her, you'll get like a point bonus. Like your points will just keep going up. But um I think you can if you push the button again, like you eat her, and you get like a health bonus. But I don't know. Don't quote me on that because I can't remember how it works. <clears throat> oh god, alright. So I think you lose health as long like every second you're underwater or something you lose a little bit of health. <clears throat> Alright, I'm gonna do like one more life here, like last life. And then move on to something else. I was gonna uh, okay I thought I was gonna dodge the tank the first time Is that Caillou or whatever in the window there the yellow shirt did you see that that was Caillou bro see him I think I'm gonna go up and punch him ah come on punch him punch Caillou there we go he's not wearing pants Little fucking bald headed pervert. What the fuck? <laughs> uh. Little prick. TV. I'm surprised, dude. Alright, come on. Oh, no, yep. Yeah. Dead. That's okay. How do I? There we go. Screen size. I guess. Maybe that, like, lowers it back to, like, the original resolution of, like, the arcade cabinet? Or something? Like, I don't see why that's an option, but... Anywho. That was Rampage. We did, like, five or six levels. Um, fun game. I'll probably come back and, and just stream that one day. Um, and just see what high score I can get on, like, a dollar or whatever, like, four lives. So we're going to just move on to um, the next game, which is Rampage World Tour. Check that out. Um, this is one, I don't know if I have this. I might have this for N64. So I, if, you know, we could always stream this. I think I actually do, because I remember playing it, two players, with a buddy of mine, like years back. So I think I have this. Um... So we can um, stream that sometime. But I'm familiar with playing this from uh, at the Galloping Ghost Arcade because they have it up there in a really nice uh, shape too. It's got like, the full art and everything on the cabinet. So um, jump, kick, punch, kick, punch, kick, punch, jump. All right, kick, punch, jump.
1997. No animals harmed during the development of this game. Peoria. We're starting Peoria again. Kick the kids! You can kick the kids! What? And you can eat the kids! This game is rated E10. And you can kick the kids and eat the kids. If you're 10 years old, it is okay for you to kick children and eat children. In the context of pixels on a television screen. Alright, straddle that building. Punch that chick. Eat the money. This is like America in a nutshell. All the scummiest parts of America in a nutshell. <laughs> Straddling buildings. Hitting the opposite sex regardless of what sex you are. Fucking money. Oh, there's booze! One of the booze. Fuck. The buttons are like different in this one compared to the last one, so now it's throwing me off. Stomp! Just beat the shit out of the building. I still can't believe that. You can eat children. <clears throat> eat children. You can kick Granny! Uh, <laughs> you can do that! Bro, such a, 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 a wealth of good clips that are gonna come from this freaking stream, I love it. Oh, they splatted. Get the guy, get the girl! Ah! Bug! It's not. I'm on death's door. Continued somehow. Oh, that, okay. I was pressing the wrong button when I was trying to pick the girl up, so that's, that explains that. Dude, jump, bro! We might have to get Kamori a new controller, too, because hers is better shaped than mine, but. This one's like star button. I'm noticing the triangle button sometimes doesn't work. It might just be this game though. It's probably just this game. Okay, good. You can just destroy the signs this time. Oh. It said 500,000 and what? Like a million to get a one up? Um, 
can go eat a gramophone. <laughs> I like the graphics on this game, though. I admit. <clears throat> also, that one zaps you, though. Like, all right, fair enough. Last couple buildings over here. this building oh so hit triangle all right there we go just ate a pipe like a tobacco pipe cook county destroyed Nuns! <laughs> Homeless people. Extra spicy snack. Oh my god, this tank! Ooh, get the girl. Jump. What? Oh, we ate her. We ate him. <laughs> A paint palette? <laughs> like, this is that cheap Crayola shit. <clears throat> Not even Crayola, this is that fucking Rose Art. <clears throat> embassy that was. I didn't really get a chance to see the flag. So that, that, uh, balloon guy was like a bonus point or something. He's getting points every time, like, I knocked past him. There's like a redneck guy in City Hall. Like, is this the Capitol takeover? <laughs> uh, is it too soon? Too soon to joke about that? I just like destroyed a shit ton of McDonald's right there. Destroyed some chicken McNuggets. Fuck! There's that statue. Destroyed some chicken McNuggets. There's an American flag in there, like. So this game wants you to be, like, anti patriotic. 
So not only are you able to destroy flags, there's like redneck guys in the freaking the city hall buildings. This game predicted some shit. Forget the Simpsons. Rampage is the true savant here. Oh. Ah. Come on! Where am I? What? Okay, that was cursed. That was cursed. Come on. building. Can I jump in like... Alright. Is that guy taking it? Oh no, okay. He's just reading the newspaper. I thought that was a guy like reading the newspaper taking a shit. We destroyed Gary. <clears throat> so these games are a little monotonous. It's like literally the same thing over and over again, level after level. It's just kind of what, you know, it's what are the variations of the level that kind of set, you know, each level apart. Not so much the gameplay variety, which I can see that turning some people off. Um, to me, I don't mind repetitive game. Like, it's just doing one thing, like as long as it's like fun. And to me, this is fun. Like, just destroying crap as a big monster. Like, that's fun. Like, eating people and destroying tanks and throwing fucking cars and shit. And destroying ice cream trucks with little children that just got fucking killed. Three children just got fucking murdered because a fucking giant ape monster punched an ice cream truck and it exploded. And kids died. Once again, can't fucking forget to mention E10. E10 for violence. Just normal violence. You know. But, um, yeah. I pretty much love these, uh, all the Rampage games. They're fun. Oop. That, that's like a hovercraft, like, jet. It's like a stealth jet. Beat the shit out of me. Did I get it? Alright. Wrecking balls of steel bonus. I'll take it. I'll take it. Talk like Duke Nukem for 20 minutes. I should make that a challenge. Or like a, a bucket thing. Might have to do that. Is that Larry King? R.I.P. But I kind of look like Larry King. I'm not trying to be insensitive because he did just pass away. I didn't really realize that until like 0.3 milliseconds after I said that. So my apologies. Just kick a tank. Just kick a tank. Dude. 
So you can't insert, like, you can't say, you can't put in, like, ten credits. You can't do that. It's just, like, you basically choose when to stop putting in a quarter or putting in a credit whenever you want to continue, so. Fair enough. <laughs> Detroit. All right, we'll just do like this last life here, then we'll move on to the main attraction on this disc here, which is the uh, Rampage Total Destruction. But there's a way you can like. Yeah, if you like, if you hold down. As you jump, that's how you do it. So, you hold down as you jump. Well, it doesn't work on that building because it's got one of the bouncing moves. This one. Yeah, you hold down after pressing jump and it just smashes right through. That, this is how you destroy buildings super quick. What the fuck? They got Ed 209? Like, what the fuck? Or whatever he's called from Robocop? Bruh. What? So it uses your lives, yeah. I get it now. I thought I was just about to die. Ooh, nuns! Kill the nuns! Separate church and state, motherfucker! That's how we do it. We take the nuns and we kick them farther away from something. So I guess that's separation of church and state somehow. Things I say just to pass time. But I really do find it hilarious that in this game, I just landed on a group of people, like, and splattered them. I mean, like, still, E10. I figured this would be at least T for Teen, dude. But then again, if it's in an arcade, it's like, whatever. Arcade games weren't regulated like that. Okay. Oh, that's like Kazakhstan. That's the Kazakhstan embassy. Fair enough. Very nice. Alright. That's enough. We will quit. But that's, uh, that's fun. I could play that. I'd probably honestly stream, do a stream of that before the original Rampage. Just because that one's got a little bit more variety to it. And I'm pretty sure there's like some end game stuff to it. Like... Which maybe the original one does too. I've never gotten through all the days or whatever. But, um, let's move on here to the main attraction, which is this, I guess. And the thing about this one is, from what I remember, because I have played this one, um, a little bit in the past it it's got a lot of monsters more than just George Lizzie and Ralph like those are the three originals this one's got like Ramsey Gilman Rhett and then like there's I think like 20 more like characters literally um, yeah see look at all these guys so um <laughs> most of them are cursed as fuck but I mean that's cool I think that's really cool that there's a lot of monsters in this game. It's uh, it's almost like at this point they're trying to. I think they're kind of trying to compete with um, where like the Godzilla universe was kind of going with like their game universe. Oh my! Oh, so that's just how you see the uh, attacks and stuff, stats. But um, I feel like this game was kind of trying to compete with um, 
the, the Godzilla universe. Because you had, like, Destroy All Monsters, I believe, or King of King of All Monsters or something like that. Um, was it one I remembered those on, like, all of the consoles of this generation, GameCube, Xbox, PS2, which I have to get a copy of. Um, but that kind of reminds me of this game, just, like, monsters destroying the city. But those Godzilla games were more, like, tournament, like, side-by-side -side fighters, where these are, like... This is just still Rampage, it's just got more monsters. But we'll go for just... Just good old George. And it looks like we have just different cities. If I vaguely remember correctly, I'm pretty sure, like... I remember picking the level, and, like, it just goes on. Like, you just keep doing... Like, I'll pick Las Vegas, and it just keeps going on and on and on for, like however frick long it, it goes on for like rampage games are always very long games if you want to sit there and play through all the levels so that being said I'll re <laughs> once again I don't know if there is an end game or not with these games but one day maybe we'll come back to find out Eat two ice cream cones oh, heavy. <laughs> Looks like some really big time players are hitting the gloves tonight. So this, I mean, the control is once again are difficult. But that's kind of to be expected because it's like 3D. Maybe I just, ah, fuck. If I had the, if I had the manual. Traffic is crack a lacking. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. Hold it right there. I got it. Okay, so it's like so if I'm holding to the left and I press square, then he grabs like what's to the left and I'm gonna hold the right and kinda hold grabs what's to the right. 
So I, it's kind of a two hit, so I like that. like rain and money. That's like what they drink or something, and they become infected or something. There's like a cutscene in one of these games. I think it's this one actually. Probably was just sad to watch that, but oh well. I knew who she was because I'd messaged her and be like, yo, I'm looking at a picture of you in Rampage, total yes, destruction for PlayStation 2 right now. And rolling tonight. <laughs> <laughs> She'd probably fucking be freaked out. Kick your motherfucker. I have to 
do to it? a lot. Let's go. Collect two kings. See, that's, I'm not even like, focusing on the champions. That's a one out of two. Damn. Oh, 
Need more mines. I killed those first two. about that. That is actually, I like that, because this isn't an arcade game, this is like made for like console. So it would be kind of, I mean, it, it would be an alright challenge if they made it, you know, the health carried over and it's like, you know, one credit type of thing or whatever, but for the sake of being a game on console, it's like 50 or 60 bucks for it. Oh, 
don't think I've seen one gold coin. I've got one Hard luck buffet. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Eat three hamburgers. Three hamburgers. Coming right up. Like, think about that. Think about the whole, like, concept of news reporting helicopter, like, on, like, reporting live on a situation like this, like, a monster attack or disaster or whatever. Like, I don't know how much money, like, an on-field news person makes. I mean, I'm guessing if you're in a big city like Vegas or New York or, you know, L.A. or something, you're on a major... You know, network, then yeah, you, I guess, you know, you're probably making a decent bit of money. But I mean, like, how much could that person in that helicopter on the camera fucking make? I mean, I'm sure the person driving the helicopter is making the big bucks, first of all. I mean, I'd, I'd assume. And then, but the reporter, like, I mean, it, what, like, 20, 30, 40, how much would a reporter make? I'd have to look that up. But like, point being, they are not making enough money to be potentially crushed by a big giant eight. Just to be making cheeky comments like traffic's crack a Like I, I, I just don't follow the logic there at all. Seen any burgers at all? That pissed me off. But it's okay. That was kind of a cool effect, for like the balloons. So I can't climb on these buildings. Okay, I can. more than just being in a helicopter, like, trying to report on this. Fucking destroy already. Jesus Christ.
that's about as far as I'm gonna go with that one. I don't, like I said, like, this just keeps going. Like, at what point is Las Vegas done with? I mean... <clears throat> anywho, the game's fun. Um, it's, I don't think I like it as much as I like um, World Tour for the arcade or the N64. Um, but that's decent. So, um... I'm going to take a quick break here, comrades. Um, when I come back, we will be playing the um, Namco Connect and Play. And we'll check out the games. We'll probably go through all the games just real quick. Um, yeah, so BRB and we'll play some Pac-Man, comrades. <laughs> Oi, what's up, you? No problem, bro. I Twitch is fucky like that, man. It's been really weird notifications I've been hearing from people. So, no worries from me, bro. I just need, like, fucking. Ah! <clears throat> I'm sort of rag here. But, um, you're back just in time, bro. Um, you. You missed what you missed was uh, son of a bitch. What you missed is son of a bitch. Um, and then after son of a bitch, I played uh, Rampage World Tour um, or Total Destruction. Well, we did play World Tour because this one um, is not only. Rampage Total Destruction, its own original game. I also played a little bit of the original Rampage and the follow-up arcade game, Rampage World Tour. Um, so this is a really f fun one. I'll probably come back to this sometime. But now, we are going to stream this son of a bitch. Which, um, this is the Namco Connect and Play. Um... Which it's got 12 games on it, I believe. And I hope it works. Yay! It works. So, um. Yeah, it works. So, as you can see, bro, um, I got this 
a little AV to HDMI adapter, and we can now stream any console that connects via RCA AV. So, um, bro, like, <laughs> I'm gonna make a little graphic. I, I, sh I wanted to make it before stream, but I didn't really have enough time. But you know, obviously, we were limited to like HDMI. I was doing console. I've been doing console capture for years with this Elgato, but we've been limited to the fucking HDMI um, things. And honestly, adapters like this, five, six years ago at the time I was looking at them were like 50, 75 bucks. Um, but dude, $13 little fucking thing. I'd show it to you right now, but it's like a spaghetti jungle mess of cables down there. Um, too long, didn't read. We can fucking play retro and old school shit now. So I'm fucking happy. Um, so let's do this shit. We're going to start with Pac-Man and work our way down, I guess, counterclockwise. Um, let's do it. <clears throat> Just going to be playing a little bit of each game here. I didn't look at the full list, but I'm pretty sure I played most of these games. But I'm pretty sure, like, everybody has played Pac-Man. Or if not, has at least seen somebody play Pac-Man. So, I'm not gonna really explain Pac-Man, but... <clears throat> oh, snort. I was looking at the audio captures. I forget it's only, like, mono audio for this game. <clears throat> but yeah. Uh, you're a ch you're a sentient cheese wheel, and you pop pills to make ghosts turn blue, and you eat the the, the ghosts um, to put them out of their misery. And the goal of the game basically is just to clear all the pills from the screen and survive the trip. See, <laughs> I overdosed, comrades. <laughs> oh my god. But but no, it, to be honest, it's just clear clear the screen, avoid the ghosts. Um, all the ghosts kind of have their own personalities. Like, <clears throat> like red ghost will chase you directly. <clears throat> exactly. Waka waka waka. Everybody knows Pac-Man, bro. That's 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 the beauty of it. Um, and it's a fun game, too. Like, I could really get into it um, if I just sat here and played it. I, I, we, I've streamed it a time or two before, but the Pac-Man 256 game, that's a blast. And I might need to stream that again soon. Yeah, exactly. Friends... Oh, damn it. <laughs> Dude, yep. He, ate, he eats the wax fruit right out of the cornucopia. <laughs> he eats the wax fruit from the cornucopia. But yeah, I mean, that's what I've always believed. Sentient cheese wheel. Was it? Hold it. Oh, that does that reset the game? Oh, that's how you quit the game. Okay, yeah. Cool. That's Pac-Man. I mean, I'm not going to do more than a round of Pac-Man, because, I mean, Pac-Man. Super Pac-Man, by the way. I don't believe I've played... I mean, I'm actually, yeah. I have. I've, if, if, it's, if it's at the Gallop and Ghost Arcade... Um, I think I've played it because they have a whole row of Pac-Man machines and I know I've spent at least like an hour or two um, cumulatively at that little aisle. So it's basically Pac-Man, I'm pretty sure, but let's find out the differences, to be honest. I'm not sure off the top of my head. Oh, so you get... Okay, yeah, I remember this one. You get the keys and you turn big. Now I think you can like survive the ghosts or something. And when you're big, you can crash through. So 
how'd that work? How'd I get big like- Oh, the green one. The green one turns you giant. Get the micro dot- Ah! Ah! Damn. <laughs> but this is interesting. Um, I just don't remember playing this, but I'm like, I'm sure it's at the ghost. God, this thing's almost as bad as the, uh, fucking Atari... 2600 controller. <clears throat> Dude, this is like weird Pac-Man. So like, the green pellets make you giant and you can smash through the pink gates, which normally you need to get the keys to unlock. Um, so it kind of speeds up things, I guess. It fucking actually really speeds things up. Ah, get the star! Ah! But, um... It's it's weird, but it's fun. It's still fun. It's still Pac-Man. Just need two more bananas. I'm decent at this one, I guess. Or I'm just getting warmed up. <laughs> what the hell, music? Ooh, bonus stage. How in the holy hell? I'm not getting a bonus. <sighs> Dude, he likes. Nah! He stopped for a second. I don't remember the ghosts ever stopping. Oh, like you hit the star, and I think if you match like the two symbols on the side, like you get something. Fucker. No! <laughs> Alright. Good enough. <clears throat> cool. So that was Super Pac-Man. Let's go to Pac and Pal. Because it's always good to have a pal to pack with. Interpret that as you will. It's always fun to have a pal, pal to pack with. Pack and pal, friends. Stick a quarter in and have some fun. Have a blast. Stick a quarter in, have a blast. Shit. <laughs> mm. Uh, once again, I literally have no idea what this is about. I haven't, I haven't played this one. This is like Nick Jr. Pac-Man, apparently. Mmm, mmm, it didn't switch. Are those enemies? I don't know if that thing's an enemy. Why am I blue? I just what? 
Hold up. Okay, so if you thought that last edition was cursed, what is this, dude? Literally. So you gotta, like, run over each card. It opens up an area. And then after you... Then you can go to that area and get whatever item is in it. So it's basically just, like, getting... Hitting a bunch of triggers and then going to a bunch of areas. What? It's like a tunnel. I'm blue again. Get the key, get the key. Look at his eyes! That's cool. What's left, dude? Fucker. So this one's like... Rest? Oh, that might be a match game? Maybe? Race cars, alright, so there's like race cars and... Cherries and apples and... Strawberries and more cherries, grapefruit. Oh my God. What what is that green thing? A watermelon? Like I don't know. Fuck. <clears throat> so yeah, pack and pals. It's all right, but I'd probably play like five different Pac-Man games before I played this one. I don't get why sometimes you go through them and, like, it doesn't unlock, like, anything. Like, can you only unlock a couple things at a time? Like, I don't know. That was pac and pal To be fair, it was all right. But it kind of just seems like a weak Super Pac-Man. Like, it kind of just seems like a, a prototype of Super Pac-Man. They kind of said, fuck that, let's change it. And then they made a game out of it in the first, in the end. What? Okay, we'll do Pac-Man Plus first. Not too sure what Pac-Man Plus is all about. Um, but let's see. It looks, ooh, okay, it looks like Pac-Man's maybe a little bit more expanded and it's faster. Okay, so this might be like, if I had to guess, this is like maybe like a Japanese Pac-Man. So yeah, this is like Hyper Pac-Man. Actually, what is it? It's like Super Pac-Man, isn't it? Is that what this is? Shit. I have dementia. But, um, I'm pretty sure this is, uh... Like I, at the Galloping Ghost, we played Super Miss Pac-Man. It was like Miss Pac-Man that was just like... Basically, I think, like, twice as fast or something. Like, it's the same exact game, just sped up. And it's, like, surprisingly, like, makes it almost a whole different game. In a fun way. It's like mods before mods. Um, but it is. It's really cool. So I think that that's also kind of what this might be, too. It might just be, like, a sped up version. Same fucking Pac-Man game, just modified a little bit. We beat, like, one, yeah, we beat at least one level, so... I'd be satisfied at that if I die again. <clears throat> Fuck. Cool. Pac-Man 
Pac-Man Plus, so that was Pac-Man Plus. That's gotta... I'm gonna check that out. Google that. No, not Plus. Arcade game that was released by Bally Midway in 1982. The third title. Okay. So it was an American thing. It's just different. Fair enough. Cool. So Pac Man 256. So this is Pac Man 256, not the glitched one out. Um, but the one from whenever? I don't know. So. Not the one we played before, but the one we're going to play now. Some new stuff. Uh, no problem, Yeet. Um, hope everything's good on your end, bro. It's never a problem. Um, hope everything's good on your end, bro. Let's give this a shot. 256. So, in the 256 I know that came out like five or six years ago, you're in a never-ending maze kind of just moving up avoiding the glitch at the bottom of the screen so I'm curious to see how this one works um, if this is like that same game but like an old like a whatever I'm really gonna be curious like made with the original Pac-Man gra graphics I'm really be curious okay it's not that but there's keys so I'm curious off the bat it feels like Pac-Man plus Pill did nothing. Okay. Fuck. Yeah, if you need to, you just shoot me a message later. This is sweaty as fuck. I don't know what to do. Ah! They're fast. They're fast. I'm, I might try this one again. Is this? Okay. I still. I'm still alive. I guess. Lives don't matter. This is glitch. I hear you there. Um, ever forward. That's the only option. <laughs> and we have our health and, you know, relative health. And, you know, I hear you, bro. But like I said, you know, it's always an avenue. If you need to speak upon something, just hit me up. <clears throat> the brothers. It's not trying to get, like, too personal on the airwaves here about it, but, you know, I'm always down to talk. Not that... You, you get what I'm saying. Toasty! But not really. So I don't... This game is fucking throwing me for a loop, because I don't know what I should be doing here. Um, I want to get farther, because I want to see if, like, the other levels are different, but at the same time, I... The power pellets are doing nothing. Seems to make them kind of like glitch out. I don't know. But they go so fast. Yeah, I mean, it's good, bro. Like. Ah, fuck. Okay. Fuck. Fuck this game. Dude, yes. <laughs> Commence! 
<laughs> Commence. I probably should just not have commenced that much caffeine, but forward. Mappy, all right. This one's cursed in, a, in just a kind of cutesy kind of way. I think I've played this once or twice at the Gallop and Ghost Arcade. Um, it's like, I don't know. We'll play it. I don't really know how to explain it. It's weird. We kind of just like go up and down like floors and you got to like, I don't know. You like spray guys and they go flying off the screen. Gotta collect stuff. Dude, that looks like Ugandan Knuckles. That's fucking Ugandan Knuckles, dude. <clears throat> that red thing is Ugandan Knuckles. Look at it, dude. I don't really know how to play this game, I'll be completely honest with you. So you can open the door. Okay. Give that another go. That's weird. Do you know the way, me brother? I believe I know the way. But believing, they say seeing is believing. So if you can't see the way, you don't know the way. Um, because if you don't know the way, you can't believe the way. Mappy. Alright. We gotta at least complete a stage, dude. So, like, there's no attack or anything. You can't, like, like, dude. <laughs> Spit on him. Okay, wait. So maybe... Yeah, so you get fucked. I think... Alright, I think I'm actually starting to get the hang of it. You gotta time it with those rainbow doors to where the people are on the other side. And then... It'll like... I think that'll kill the enemies. Yeah, there we go. Fuckers! Oh, wait, wait. Rainbow door. Fook, fook! I did it! Without dying, too.
gotta get used to like the directions and like which ways the doors are facing and stuff. No, no, I tried to go in the other one. Okay, I got one more life. Fucker, I want no, 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 no. Incoherent, profane babbling. But the way! What happened to him? What? No! What? <clears throat> Fuck. Okay. Where am I? Okay. Uh. Uh. Okay, this is trippy, dude. Ah! I'm fucked. <laughs> That was interesting, though. That was interesting. Round four. Starting to get the hang of this mappy thing. This mouse motherfucker. Wait, you can go up into the upper deck? Okay, interesting. Triple kill. Another triple kill. Ooh, baby, a triple. Fuck. All right. <laughs> oh, on. Like on the those old like arcade compilations, hell yeah, dude! I'm straight up. I'm gonna order. Um, all right, that's enough Mappy. We got a good taste of Mappy. Um, I'm gonna order up a bunch of PS2 games here pretty soon, just so I can up the stash, get more stuff to stream. Cause there's a bunch of um, classic games that I want to get um, that I've been surprisingly slacking in my collection. But anywho, there's like a handful of those like arcade there's like namco atari midway like for ps1 and ps2 uh like just tons of arcade compilations so i'm gonna pick some of those up sega um so dude vibes all day on that arcade games are fun bro so it's just like i don't know to me like i just love the simplicity and how much fun you can have with just so little and so like immediate such immediate fun in a little amount of time um and just you know the novelty factor of how old they are you know like this is like this is where kind of gaming started to be honest in a certain sense so yeah it's fun new rally x comrades i know rally x but i don't know about new rally x oh literally like, you actually found it, like, physically? Which one, bro? Comic Zone. Oh, Sega Genesis, I believe. I, If I don't have it for, I've played it on Sega Genesis. Okay. That one's trippy, because, yeah, you go, like, from arcade panel to arcade panel. And you kind of, like... Oh, I'm trying to remember, like... It's like a beat-em-up kind of game. Genesis, nice. Yeah, they had a lot of, like, kind of cool... Um, like artsy kind of stylized games like that on Sega, and on Super Nintendo too. But Sega had its definitely had its own kind of like vibe going with the music and the the graphics. All right, so basically Rally X, you're just a car, and you gotta navigate the field here. You get the little markers while you drive between pink mazes and you're surrounded by fields of Homer Simpson cherry sprinkled donuts um 
and don't get smoked by the other drivers. Like this guy's trying to chase me down. Oh god. Ooh, and there's fuel too, apparently, I just now realized. <laughs> yeah, dude, you gotta love that when you find some, uh, when you find stuff that, like, you didn't even realize that you had. <laughs> or you did realize you had it and you just, like, lost it and you finally find it. That was me the other day when I was, like, digging out some, like, PlayStation stuff. Um, what I find? I think it's like, at the risk of, like, discombobulating my old setup. I found the old knuckle dusters, bro. <clears throat> I thought I lost those. <clears throat> Which are legal in the state of Wisconsin um, to own and to carry with a concealed carry license. So that, that was a legal thing to show <clears throat> here in the state of Wisconsin. I don't know about Twitch, but... Right, fuck this game. Um, it's alright, but it's fucking going around a, a disorienting maze collecting flags. There's 8,412 other racing games that I'd probably rather play before that. <clears throat> I don't have it anymore. Oh, I feel ya. Yeah, dude, nice. Um, that one's like... Like, let me see. Do do do. Thirty dollars from Lukey Games. Um. But, I mean, you could probably find it like for half of that on freaking, what you call it, eBay or something. Oops, I just hit my bad. Scene. What did I even hit? Oops. Fuck. What are we doing here, comrades? There we go. <laughs> my bad. Um. Ooh, yeah, that's a good call to eat. Um, I was kind of thinking the same, but nothing too crazy. Um, in terms of, like, I'm not in a rush to do it, but yeah, dude. Never bad. I'm thinking I just want something for, like, when I go out to the woods. Because, like, dude, there's been so far, like, this year... Pardon me. Or within like this last year, there's been reported sightings of a cougar and a bear, both at fucking Big Hill Park. So like, and that's the park that I like frequenting, um, around here. And like, dude, like, fuck that. <laughs> I mean, you can always just say, oh, that'll never happen to me. It never happened before. It won't happen. You know, whatever happened. Then you watch that video of fucking dude who got like half his face ripped off by a bear. And then that other dude who was like walking and the fucking mother cougar was like right there on the trail and stalks him for like half a mile. Like, bro. That shit makes me paranoid. So, if there is a reason for me to go to the store, that will be it. <laughs> Bosconian. Going from firearms to back to arcade games. <laughs> PC disc. What? I'm trying to think. It might be on Steam. I'm trying to think where I saw that game. Oh, and we're still showing Rampage here. It's based on that. Um, I meant to put that up. <laughs> oh well. Anyways, Bosconian time. This game's trippy. It's like a space shooter. Um, as you can see, it's similar to Rally in the sense that it's got the map. 
Um, but yeah, you just kind of go around and destroy the little, um, like, space stations. Mm. Yeah. That's, that's chill, man. Because, yeah, it's, like, it's super rare that, like, you know, around here that we see mountain lions or bears. Like, bears are, I think, nearly, like, impossible. <laughs> Mountain lions, technically, like, if they stray far enough off the path, like, because they're typically more concentrated in the center, like, more, like, by the Ozarks and stuff like that, um, <clears throat> and, like, Colorado and stuff, as far as I know, um, so yeah, dude, that is scary stuff, though. If it were to be encountered. Otherwise, yeah. Normally it's chill around here, too. It's like... Not to, like, find something to be paranoid about, but it's like, after you see those videos, dude, it's like... I don't know. I don't want to be in that situation. Not that I want it. I don't ever want to shoot an animal, either. But I'd rather have to do that than, you know, get fucking mauled to death. No! <laughs> Hell yeah. So the, basically, the cats are pussies. <laughs> that was weak. Alright, so this one is like, kinda hell to play. Oh, Northern Michigan? Hell yeah, I can believe that. Ooh. I mean, I'd expect that like in nor like northern like Wisconsin too. Honestly. It's like coyotes and stuff too, man. I know they're not really dangerous, but they're out there. <clears throat> Alright, so that's Bosconian. Basically, just blow up the space stations. Um, it's pretty fun. I like it. It's just, uh, we're gonna keep moving along there. <laughs> right, he was ready. Ready for action, bro. Just like, come get some animals. This is my property. But, dude, that's, I mean,. If it's up, like, if it's up north, up north, then, I mean, dude, that's, that's the joys of being up north, is being able to hold it down like that, man. Or just, you know, country life in general, so. Fair enough. <laughs> that was the cool thing about up north, dude. Like, up at our cabin, we have a little family in the cabin, and, like, it's basically just call my uncle or whatever, and you set up a time, like, he kind of controls the whole situation up there. And, dude, it's legit. Like, it's a cabin, a little, like, bunkhouse, a garage, and everything. But, the, like, the last time I was up there, the fun part about it was, dude, is you just literally step outside on the, on the back porch because it's on private property and just pick up the rifle and just do some target practice, man. It was awesome. I mean, there's little woods behind it, and there's, like, not, like, neighbors, but there's, like, adjacent properties, like, within, like, a couple miles. But it's, like, you know... Just go through a walk through the woods real quick for like 10 minutes before you start shooting, but I kind of miss that. <clears throat> you know, just check the wood before you go shooting. No, I remember I shot a hot dog. Like, I split a hot dog in half. Remember, that was like <laughs> the really cool thing. Alright, so this is like a shmup. Shoot him up, like. To be honest, I don't think I've really played this. I don't think I've played this one in the arcade. I wonder if there's like a gonna be a boss at the end.
The music for this is kind of trippy. It's just like, doo -doo 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 -doo. it's like, it sounds like the fucking the Mario Kart music. Like when you're freaking getting a random, um, like when you're getting a power up, and it's like choosing which power up you're getting. <laughs> I'm gonna give that another go. Uh oh, target practicing story. I'm intrigued. I'm gonna try this one more time here. See if there's like a boss or something at the end of the stage, or if it just like keeps going. story. Uh-oh. I got you one second here. Yeet! Mm. Right, we blew up the Matrix Command Center. I don't know what the fuck that was. Neo is stuck in the Matrix now. Don't blame him after that. It's like, it's kind of like, all right, son. I don't think you're you're not destined for this uh, sport. Oh man, I just quit the game. Fuck. Well, that was Zevious, comrades. It was a shmup. Um, fuck, I don't know. Maybe there's a boss at the end. If there is, it's probably difficult. I don't know. Dig dug. <laughs> Dude, that's dangerous as fuck. Like, people like that are just, like, the worst, man. Because it's like, that could have just fucking killed somebody, bro. It's not like a fucking, like, a golf club or, like, a controller or something. Like, you can't just yeet a fucking firearm, dude. I mean, granted, Mythbusters basically prove that short of, like, a fucking, like, mechanical mishap phenomenon like it's never gonna like typically go off from being thrown but like 
say there's something hanging on the wall or like a little ledge and it clips funny and like, dude, you don't know what the fuck can happen. Like, <laughs> good job, Yeet. We need to make a service out of that. Like, do you have an asshole in your life that you don't want to, to be in your life anymore? Are you too nice of a person to say anything about it? So you just kind of push it off. Well, call Yeet. One eight hundred beat Yeet. <laughs> we'll send one rowdy, rough motherfucker, rabble rousing motherfucking cocksucker to your house, ready to tear shit up. And you just tell him where to go, and he will beat the living shit out of the person, severing connections with that person, doing all the work for you, and you don't have to do anything guilt-free, all guilt-free. All for a nominal service charge of forty nine ninety nine per strike at a discounted rate of $50 an hour. I don't know what I just fucking said. Let's play some Dig Dug. <laughs> <sighs> but that's that's how you do it there's not enough of that not that I'm trying to inc incite violence cause I'm not you know typically a violent in real life like seriously aside like jokes and memes and shit aside like I'm not fuck I'm not a violent person but like in some rare instances it's just like you just wish that that could, could happen. <laughs> 1 800 Yeet! For a free quote of cans of whoop ass. <laughs> now partnered with G Fuel. Get your, get your bubble gum. That looks like a weird flavor. It'd be like. Bubblegum brain aneurysm or something. Get one tub of bubblegum brain aneurysm whoop ass game fuel. G fuel, whatever the bloody hell it's called. That fucking shit. You want G Fuel? Literally just grab a fucking handful of coffee grounds and throw it in a cup full of hot water. Mix that shit up with a spoon and drink it. <laughs> That's some G Fuel for you. That's the original G Fuel. Better yet, don't even use hot water. Just throw a handful of coffee grounds into the fucking cold water. Better yet, don't change your water softener or, or fill it with salt for like months so like when you pour the water and like you look in the cup it's like white and cloudy and like takes like a minute for it to like clear up into normal water and you wonder like where did all the shit that was just making the water cloudy go like and then pour, take put the coffee grounds into that and then drink it <clears throat> fuck so that's dig dug <laughs> You dig, you dug, you inflate enemies and blow them up. Galaga. All right, so probably my favorite game of this whole collection. Probably my one of my favorite all, ar arcade games of all time. Um, let's give this a go. I'm excited to play this. At uh, the local spot, it's actually right, like, if we were looking out this window right here, you'd see it. It's a little pool hall. And they had, I don't know if they still do, but they had a Galaga arcade machine there. And me and um, Epic Eric, we we put like, we took a roll of quarters down there. And we got the the high score up to like 800,000 something, I'm pretty sure. And we, we set the high score on the machine. I remember that was fun, dude. We were just like, we were just at that machine for like an hour just playing. Ta tagging in and out, like going to get snacks, and I'm pretty sure we're just like letting people hop in and play. <laughs> Hell yeah! Expedited whoop ass for only five ninety nine extra.
So, we'll upload a copy of the body cam footage for an extra twenty nine ninety nine immediately after the 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 incident. <laughs> That's another perk. For an extra ten ninety nine, we'll live stream it. <clears throat> All flavors, cherry, choke out, blueberry, <laughs> blueberry, black eye, cocoa, contusion. <laughs> what the fuck's the last one? Fruit punch, femur fracture. Fuck. I fucked up the bonus stage, but it was worth it. Can't forget the cranberry cranium cracker. Dude, the projectile's glitched. The right, the projectile on the left. I can't, I got fuck. Check the capture, but that looks glitched. I'm like, this isn't an NES cartridge, so how does it like? How is this glitched out other than the fact that it's just ported over poorly? Okay, we need to get it. Get a shot on this guy before he does his laser thing. There we go. Blueberry. Blueberry black eye. You have to have two of those blue ships at the top, I think, before they do their descent in order to get the... abduct me. <laughs> Talking shit tea delivered to the forehead. Uh, this is like an SNL skit, bro. Like... Dude, I'm so satisfied with this, bro. The capture does not look half bad. I mean, it doesn't look any worse than it would look on, like, a CRTV if you were looking at it, like... <laughs> like, I'm stoked, bro. Like, this opens up so many more possibilities. And that's Galaga. A classic... Probably my favorite of this whole collection, hands down. Um, call quick or we'll fuck you up. If you don't call quickly, I'll send out Duke Nukem himself. Dude, I need to make that. I thought of that earlier in like the stream. I need to make that a, like a drop in the buckets chat, chat point like thing. Uh, like talk like Duke Nukem for like 15 minutes or something. I need to do that do that <laughs> but continue all you'd like eat 
Um, we're on to our last game here. And it's Galaxian, which is basically, I think, a sequel to Galaga. No, it's, it's I think it's like an offshoot of Galaga. Because there was Galaga 2 and I think Galaga 3. Um, I think this is just like a like an offshoot, if you will. So, spin-off. I like the background, though. Like the flashing lights, the little stars. <clears throat> it's always tantalizing. But this kind of looks like more kind of like Space Invaders. Yeah. So that's what this is. So it pays off, I guess, not to be as spammy. Seems like half my shots are going between them. Dude, fuck yeah. <laughs> That's like the... The go-to, like, Duke Nukem fucking... Duke Nukem's just, like, instantly quotable. We're gonna be playing that soon. That's the next game I'm gonna do with the Guitar Hero controller, so... Stay tuned for that, comrades. Might just do, like, an episode or two at a time. Probably not gonna do the whole game in one stream, but... Two, three streams tops. We'll do all the episodes. If not, we'll at least do like the, the three, the original three episodes. <clears throat> Get that crap out of here. That's Galaxian, comrades. It's a, well, it's a fun game. It's kind of a slower game after playing Galaga, but... It's alright. Um, not much variety to it. Granted, I was only on the second stage. There's probably more enemies once you get to it. Or once you get farther into it, rather. But I'm not going to worry about it, because we're just here to try these games out. Um, we'll come back and maybe do another stream of this thing sometime. But, um... To be honest, for like, I think this was like 15 or 20 bucks. I got it for like a Christmas present, I believe. But like, I've seen them at the stores. They're fairly, you know, reasonable. And this joystick is really solid. It's it's, it's decent. It's good. I'm not going to complain about it because it's decent. It's a little hard to like, my hand's a little sore. Like if I played this for another hour, I'd probably, my hand would probably be dead. Um... And I don't want that to be like that because I want to play guitar and shit, so. But overall, this thing is, like, solid. And I recommend picking it up if you ever see one. Or, like, at Goodwill, you'll probably find one for, like, three bucks. Um, so, yeah, comrades. That was um, the Namco Plug and Play. This uh, beautiful thing down here. An Amco connect and play, I should call it. Sounded like Trump. Good <laughs> dick. If you think, if you think about it, if you think about it, Duke Nukem and Donald Trump really kind of sound the same. It's kind of fucked up. It's just like Donald Trump is just a Manhattan Duke Nukem. Donald Trump is just a Manhattan Duke Nukem. On that fucking note, comrades, I appreciate y'all for chilling and for y'all after the fact that happened to watch this on the YouTubes. Appreciate y'all as well. I'm uploading my streams more often, and if not full streams, clips and crap are going on there now. So, um, yeah. Dig that. Oh, I, you know what I gotta do? I gotta put that right there. I have to have the chat, at least on the screen, so it still resembles somewhat of a live stream. Um, 
But yeah, thank you, Yeet. I do have Warzone installed all fucking 200 and some goddamn gigabytes of it, so <laughs> we'll play that um, one of these evenings. Um, shit, I wish K was awake. I'd say we could even do it tonight. I mean, not that we need him. We could play, but let's shoot for this weekend, bro, because I know Eric has the weekend off. I'm pretty sure, and yeah, it's just the weekend, so let's vibe. Um, but other than that, bro, thank you for chilling. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, take care, and uh, I'll see y'all tomorrow. It's probably Clone Hero, and then another evening stream to be determined. Maybe some more retro shit, but take care, everybody. Sounds good, Yeet. You take care, brother. With that note, we're going to get toasty with it. Is anyone going to let me send that? Hell yeah. Toasty, comrades. Peace. Wait. Wait. Okay, none of the homies are online, so we're not going to worry about it. Okay, none of the homies are online, so we're not going to worry about it. Okay, none of the homies are online.